So welcome everyone to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm celebrating. I'm so, so excited. My first video has hit a million views. Not my first ever video that I did, but the first one that's ever hit a million views. And I'm so, so, so grateful for you all for contributing to that. Um, majority of you who are here watching this video will have seen that one and if you haven't seen it i'll put a link in the description or maybe a card up in the side you know you know the drill the, go watch it it's cool anyway so to celebrate that and to um have another play with that same method of uh doing things i'm i'm literally gonna do the same thing again but it won't be the same thing again because um, many of you have asked in that in the comments on that video could I please uh, do it in a way that you get to keep the last one on a canvas rather than having it on a um, you know thing and I did do this um, not long after I did that original video and um, so there's a couple of videos out there of me doing this but I just wanted to let's have a play this it, it, it's so exciting a million views I'm so grateful so how did we do that one we poured some white paint and the white paint I use is a house paint uh, which has been thinned down with Floetrol and water. Um, I have videos in my channel of how I mix my paints and stuff like that. So please go check those out. Um, and then I just put a little bit of Dimethicone oil, which is sort of like a silicon. Uh, this is the one I use. <laughs> and flick that off my finger onto the white. Now... Um, let me see if I can get you an angle where you can see that. Maybe not. I don't want to move it around a bit. If I can get the right angle, you'll be able to see little dimples where that silicon has landed. So now that I've done it, I'm wondering whether I should have actually done this base one as a big canvas but that's okay we're going to then start these all these paints um don't have silicon in them so there's some gold this is where i go all jackson pollock on you <laughs> and you just sort of squiggle some paint around really so that's some silver. This one is Viridian Hue, which is kind of a blue-green. Uh, then let's go for a dark colour. So this one is Prussian Blue. And all of these colours, except my red, are... Uh, Reeves um, Reeves acrylic Reeves fine artist one not the intro one the better quality one um, and they are all mixed just with flow troll and water no PVA like the, the house paints got PVA this one doesn't so that was ultramarine blue let's throw in some red now get some color happening do, 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 do. So that's a crimson red, and my crimson red is Reno Art, which I'm not sure you can get anywhere other than Australia and New Zealand, but um, it's a very cheap brand, but I love that colour and it works well for me. This one is Violet. Then we're going to go in for a different colour green. This one is I think they've renamed it to meadow green. It used to be grass green. And you see, I'm just like putting flicks. 
no large quantities and then let's go for some cerulean blue give it a lighter color happening in there that one is quite um it doesn't do a, it, it's opaque that's the word it it's not transparent at all so and then we're going to go in with some turquoise because you guys know i love turquoise all right so we've got that there and because i'm going to be squishing down on top of it another paint um canvas um i need this to be completely covered so let's ooh, let's not drop a bit of that had a lump in it so i'm just gonna fill this up because when i dip the uh the clean canvas i'm going to call it a clean canvas um it needs to get completely covered with paint so we need to have enough paint on here for it to get completely covered oops <laughs> now that was funny i thought it was anyway um so let's just pick some of that up and reuse it if you guys have been around me for very long you know that i'm not a paint waster i i i, I get kind of a little bit frustrated agitated um when i see other youtubers and they tilt and pour and then they just roll up the poured off paint and throw it away it kind of bugs me all right as we press down this should should be fine but before i start i'm just going to make sure i get my edges done so i'm just going to dip the edges of the one that i'm dipping <laughs> into the plain white and that way we know that we've got paint all over that part of the canvas to start with spread that out a bit are we ready for this it's quite pretty check that out the before shots <laughs> okay so i'm going to line it up and oh i can already see those colors yeah you can see the colors have are showing through the canvas that's really funny but what i need to make sure is that the whole of this canvas that there's no air bubbles and that the whole of this canvas gets some get some loving and then we're going to pull it apart Oh, and once again, we have beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. Those colors have just, oh, that makes me cry. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my goodness me. That is so dynamically pretty. I'm just. Ha! <sighs> huh. Yay! Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, I love it when this works. Super easy, simple, and yet you can get some very, very cool stuff happening. Um, we've even got cool stuff happening there too, so. Um, if I can get my flame torch to work now we're not going to burn the paint we're just going to warm it and move the air around using it to pop any air bubbles 
and see if there's any silicon hiding in there. Oh, we're not getting the cells that we got last time. That's interesting. Where did my silicon go? Well, even without the cells, it's so pretty. I don't care. I love that. Alright. We are getting some cells down in here though. Look at this. That's cool too. Alright, let me just put this one down. Now there's a lot, a lot of paint on here and if I just pull it back there's, there is too much paint just to leave it like that so I'm gonna dip again and I can hear somebody out there going It is pretty but let's dip again need to get those edges cut covered again so I'm just gonna go on this side because it's got white paint just one more all right there's still a lot of color in here to find so let's go find it and i'm going to pull up this way this time to try and drag it drag the color back this way oh no there's a air bubble in there. Ooh, that's surreal. That looks like some sort of ice castle. That is super cool. I'm going to have to add some more paint around the edges though because it's wow that is funky see if it's got any cells though where's my silicon gone this is so weird. It's alright. It's funky though. And that's gold. That's not yellow. Remember we didn't put any yellow in. That's gold in there. There's gold in them there ice hills. <laughs> that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Mm, where's a clean finger? I do need to touch up those sides though. Do you think we should dip again? What do you reckon? Sorry if I'm off camera doing this. I just I need to touch up those sides with some white. But I don't want to drip onto here. If you know what I mean. See, see how there's absolutely no paint in that area. I've got another canvas sitting here ready to dip but I don't know. That's a lie. I do know. I think there's probably not enough paint 
to get a good coverage. Maybe I could add some more paint. That could be fun. So there's another look at that one. Very subtle, but very, very pretty. Oh, I like it up that way, actually. I like it both ways. That's cool. What just happened? Ah! Uh. I just had a bit of camera problem but we will see I've got a second camera up there so I hope we've, it's covering it <laughs> but you're not getting the beautiful angled shots that I'm showing to the screen yeah, I know. okay so we do have paint left on here and I put some more paint around the edges. Give it some bulk. I think we can get another another dip and then what's left on here so let's let's do that so I'm just gonna dip our edges again into that fresh white paint that I just poured all right and I'm gonna lay it down and roll see how I'm kind of stroking the paint upwards and then so whichever way you peel it's going to drag the paint that way so I'm going to peel it back that way oh, looky, looky, looky. two beautiful more paintings oh oh happy happy days let me just fill that little gap up there and that little gap up there oh happy days oh happy days that back so you can see both wow <laughs> it's so much fun i have so much paint in my hair at the moment i've been painting kitchen cupboards and also the bathroom and guess what the kitchen cupboards and the bath are fine but the bathroom windowsill i dragged my top of my head I was I was down painting the bottom and then went like that and I'd already painted the top and I just grazed the top of my hair I was like eh I don't know well I don't know where all that silicon went there's a silicon cell coming up there gonna drag it down because I don't like these drag lines 
Let's see what happens. And drag it back. Oh, these are so pretty. Don't have to know colors, guys. Just throw it all together. See what shows up. And you don't have to have cells for it to be pretty. The lacing that you get when you do these dips is just cool too. I'm seeing some sort of maybe a, a bird or something cool in here. Let me know if you see in the comments what you see in any of these paintings. I'm going to bring the other two back in a second and, and we'll see see them all together and then at the end of the video I always show you the dry results so hold fire um, it's one of the one of my one of my things I like to see what they look like finished so um, I like to show you what they look like finished <laughs> okay let me let me bring these back uh, And just pick that up. I should have done this in the first place. I'll put this up on a on blocks. But I didn't. zoomed out. Let's go up. All right, there you go. There's all four of them. And I just, ah, oh, look at them. They're so pretty. <laughs> oh, what have I dropped in there? No. Cannot have black bits in my painting. They are so pretty, guys. And you all saw me add the silicon. Didn't come through, but that is not an issue. Just the colours. Oh, that one there specifically is just like, oh. But that's the same with that other video. The first one was the best, in my opinion. Um, and of course, you know, we all have our own opinions. 
I just love them. I think they're gorgeous. I just, I'm so excited that I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's my own point of view, but that's okay. I've got paint all over my watch, watch strap. All right, guys, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to clean up <laughs> and then um, I will be back very, very shortly in your time, probably several days in my time, um, with the dry result. How's it getting any better? Oh, yummy. Season. Okay, you got me. I, 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 I know, I know, somebody out there reminded me, my brain went, oops, haven't used up this, um, alright, so, I made this big comment about how I don't waste paint, <laughs> and you're all going, but all that paint on the bottom, so, this is how I use up my paint that gets left on the bottom how's it get any better let's, let's see if we can get so this is just a piece of cardboard it happens to be the inside of a um, cereal box that's white but you can use any any cardboard that you like and I just try and scoop that paint up now I've got paper down underneath so it tends to dissolve when it's been left for this long so you've just got to scoot over the top and try and pick up the paint. Um, and this is where the colour is so let's see what we can get in there. Maybe this is where all the silicon went. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I've got quite a bit of paint on there. Let's rock it around a bit. And if you want to see what I do with these bits of cardboard, go into the description, into the little description bit at the bottom. Um. And check out the video about me making cards. How do how I do that? What I do with it? So look at that! I've got all that paint. That there's some more there. It's just. some more paint on here so that it can run over it. Look at all this paint that like can't just let that go to waste. So just letting it run around the cardboard filling up any spaces Out of a piece of cardboard this size, I can get three cards, and it's just wasted paint if I if I don't use it. So, okay. So, oops. Anyway, ah, wrong hand. Grab the torch and see if any of that silicon is in there. If the torch is going to work for me. No. Grab another torch. Always pays to have a spare one on hand.
There's. <laughs> Where is my silicon? It vanished. That's okay. We still got amazing paintings, don't we? Maybe not as beautiful as it could have been, but hey. And then we just grab a kitchen rack and lay it down. And because I've had grubby fingers, there's paint on the back of my painting. And it just tends to lay down. Sits there and dries. Bum, bum, bum. Right, so now here comes the dry lot. In three, two... And they're dry. Check them out. They actually haven't changed much. Maybe darkened a bit, but that's what happens um, when paint dries. <laughs> uh, I really like this one. It's so pretty. Can you guys see my kiwi? This big long beak, head, body. <laughs> and this one is the first one that came off the block. And I really like it. Reminds me of that splush as something goes into the water before it curls over and does its round thing. And then we had this one. And look, we've got some gold in here. And then the last one. The leftover paint that you all asked me to save this time. Again, there's so many things dancing in there. So let me know in the comments what you see. Uh... I'm just really pleased with this. No cells. <laughs> you know, there was actually a lot of people in that original video that were like, oh, you make cells so important. Cells aren't that amazing. And for all of you out there that have that point of view, there you go. They're beautiful with no cells. <laughs> anyway, guys, I adore you. Uh, oh, let me show you what happened to the leftovers. Very plain, not really exciting, but that's okay. I do love these. We've got some very, very exciting bits that come out of this, and I'm very excited to share those with you. And uh, yes, check the link in the description. There will be a place where you can go and download the the digitals of these uh, five dollars per image that's five New Zealand dollars which is about three dollars fifty American so uh, it's really cheap and you can print one out and have it for yourself or have it as your background on your phone or whatever you want to do with that and of course if anyone would like to own these pieces please get in contact they are only eight by tens so they post really really easy and um yeah get in contact make me an offer all right guys i adore you all and um uh, oh there's there's some gold in that one too look and some in that one as well it's not sparkly, sparkly gold, but it's there. Anyway, guys, I adore you. I will be seeing you super, super soon. Like in the next 24 hours plus a little bit for a live. So make sure you have uh, hit the subscribe button. And on the bell button, if you actually want to make sure you get all the notifications, when you click the bell button, 
change it from the personalized to the all bell and you will get all notifications otherwise it will only take into account what you set up in your back-end settings which may block some of the notifications so let me know if you love them hate them would have used different colors what what would you do or be different i adore you all have fun and i will see you in the next video bye bye